Brothers Underwater Recovery is a dive team who searches for missing people and helps to clean up river systems. All right, guys, we are back down here at the boat ramp, Diamond Island. Just got the boat put in the water, went over, and got a vehicle right there, which is a different one than we found right there. There is a truck right there. But we have another vehicle right there, if you can see it. Yep, right there. So I'm going to go back over it. see if I can find out exactly where it's at. Sorry about the glare, guys. I know it's a uh, pain in the butt trying to watch this with the glare. That's the boat ramp all right there. That one. Go out just a little bit, see if we can hit it right through here. 15 foot of water. There is something right there. And a car, oops, a car was just right past it. Right when it dropped right there, 16 foot, right there. This would be the second car, guys. Like I said, the truck's just right over there behind the camera. that one
And right over there, there's another one. Because that's another car over there. It's a car over there. Now he's putting the buoy on that one so they know where it's at. All right, guys, so here's the truck, and there's the car at that buoy. We dove this one yesterday, day before yesterday, right after the storm. We're going to come back here in just a few minutes and dive that one, see what it is. Okay. So. Okay, hi. Uh, I hope you guys have a great 4th of July. Um, if you guys are new here, it, that's my dad who does it, and I'm just recording right now. And um, I hope you guys have a great 4th of July, and we, we all wish you a good 4th of July. Thank you, Outdoor Adventures with Ron, for these new gloves. They're a little tight, but you know what? They keep my hands good and not cut up when I go down there and mess around these cars. So, thank you. The other ones I had had holes all in them and got cut 10 times. Okay, so. Thank you. I'll be back in a little bit. Thank you. Love you guys. Be right back. I think I found the current. <laughs> yep, found the current. So it is a mangled up convertible of some sort. Don't even think it's pullable. I couldn't find nothing on it that was structurally sound, so it's been out there 20, 30 years at least. And I went all the way around that thing, try to find anything that I could hook anything to to pull it out. Couldn't find nothing. Was that no, I just had to slow my breathing down before I went under. She's talking about now. Oh, now? Yeah, I got all this weight on me and swimming back. No, when you was over there underwater, that was around your stomach. No, it's not hard to breathe at all when I'm down under the water. I want to be. Dad, it looks like you got sunburnt while you did it. Yeah. <laughs>
comes the cavalry. just into the rope itself. Uh, yeah, you're going to run that down and then choke it back to itself. Yeah. We probably would be better if we basketed it. Right there is the boat. It's a little, I mean, the truck. It's like right there. And Tri State Towing is over there. And I'm over here showing you guys this. And we'll be pulling it here in about an hour. There's my dad right out there. There's a glare on the water because. I don't know if you guys can see him out there, but he's uh, swimming back to shore. I think he got the rope hooked up. I think he's just paddling himself back. And he's right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but and then the truck's right there. And the little towing truck is over behind me, and he is right there. So I'll see you when, when he gets back to the shore. All right, guys, just got out of the water. We got the tow truck hooked up to it. Went through the windshield, or went through the passenger and driver, come back into the to itself. And uh, they're pulling on it now. Show the camera. The truck's right. way out right there, there, guys. The truck, about probably 20, 30 more feet back toward us from that buoy. And uh, they're pulling it out. Yeah, they are. That's why I'm thinking it's, it's, it's stuck on something. What's going on? Right now. All right, guys, so they are moving the truck little by little, getting it unsilted. You can see the bubbles out there by the buoy. That is the truck moving. Don't know if you can or not because the sun's glaring right on it. Yeah, it's. Yeah, you can't hardly see it, can you? No. Can't even see the buoy. Hang on, guys. Sorry about that. There you go. Now you can see the buoy right there. All them bubbles right beside it. She's bubbling. Hopefully, she's coming unstuck. Yep, she's a flopping around down there, so hopefully she's coming out. They're coming out. Look at it. You look at the rope with that moving. Pretty good. So, I think she's coming out. Thought I was going to reach my hand in there and be a big old fish hanging off in there. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's the one. All right, guys, give us just a minute. Let's get it up here somewhere, and then uh, we'll take another look at it. All right, guys, so we have pulled it, or they have pulled it, a little bit further up here. But the line right there is kind of staying slack, so I'm not sure if we got the whole truck or if we just got the cab. It's not pulling very hard at all. It did at first. It almost lifted the other side of that truck up because it was silted in. And uh, now, I mean, we've got bubbles, so we've got a lot of bubbles. So I'm not sure what we got. We don't know. We'll just have to wait until it gets up here. What do you think about all this, Lakota? I think it's cool that we found like a truck and a car that was like over there. Cool, we're getting it out of the river. Yeah. It helps the environment. It sure does for your for your generation and it more generations to come, too, huh? Because we also don't know if this is maybe a case that we're looking for. Could be connected to a case cold case you know could be connected to a missing person could be connected to a anything stolen vehicle whatever you know whatever it is we're gonna find out here in just a little bit but we got lots of bubbles yeah and it moves from like way over here to here i think it's really cool that we're helping the environment and helping families Hope we don't pick up my boat. They said it'd be all right sitting there, but you know. Who knows? You never know. Never know. <laughs> they ain't gonna hurt my boat. I promise you that. If anything, it'll just pull it up on shore. Awesome! I'm ready for this. I want to see it. Come on. Yeah. Come on, the full truck. I've never actually just watched a, something get pulled up. I know, you ain't never seen a vehicle being pulled, have you? No. You might not get to see one this time. <laughs> <laughs> if they ain't got it. <laughs> Let's just pray they do. Cross our fingers. Wouldn't you be able to see it if they had it? Like the head of it? Oh. Something popped off. My magnet or something. There's the beam. I think your magnet popped off. Yep. Uh oh. We're gonna have to. It's alright. It's. <laughs> I can get it. Yeah. We'll have to move the road. I get it. I think that tree popped my magnet off the whatever we got. I think we got anything. I think we lost it. Think we lost it? You got your on? Uh, I mean, yeah, I got my it, son on. It, it should be right. I think it's just a strap. I think it's just a strap. Well, that's not good. Part of the roof, yep. Yeah. The doors. Well, that's not a full size pickup. No. <laughs> that's clocked. some doors. Oh, what we did, we just 
Not unless you pulled it out of the, pulled it this way a little bit. Get underneath the back end of it. And if you're on the other thing, we'd be going around the steering column, but it's just gonna fold it. If it just pull this off, it's just gonna fold the steering column. If we can't get to something solid on the front end. Sonar, put the magnet back on it and see what else I can get. <laughs> That's all I can do. No, I think it hit that tree over and got pulled off. Yes, I think your magnet got hurt. All right, guys, so unfortunately, the only thing we're going to be able to remove out of this river, out of these two vehicles, is that roof right there. So we did, or they did actually turn the vehicle a little bit but still everything fell in on top of it, the silt and everything, so there was no way I could get down under the frame, hooked to a wheel or anything. So, I mean, it is what it is. We tried. If there's anybody out there that's got a, a track hoe with some claws and, and a, a, a barge, please hit us up, let us know. We'll come out here with you grab them both and get them out of the water i'd be happy to do that so if uh anybody out there that that's got that kind of equipment let me know because we really want to help these people absolutely we, we really wanted to get them out see what they were but you know we figured out this was a little s10 pickup truck uh older model but uh anyway Guys, till next time, stick with us and thank you for your support. We love you. Bye, guys. And thank you, Tri State Towing. You guys are awesome. <laughs>